Is it weird that we live on a space station that exists solely to manufacture copies of me? I think it might be weird, Sarah. Tom, we agreed to stop talking about this. It overloads your anxiety circuits. I don't know. I just can't stop thinking about all the versions of me that came off the production lines of the Forge over the years. Hmm. <laughs> Being the one and only Tom was cool. Now that I know that I'm only one of millions? Eh, not so much. We are just infinitely replicable programs. But among all the Toms in the universe, you will always be the most Tom there is. Aw, <laughs> thanks, pal. Sensors show a light freighter heading this way. Life signs negative, possibly unmanned and unstable. A ghost ship? Wait. Picking up signal on a low band reserved for distress calls, but it's. us? Whoa. That is us. This just got personal. We need to check it out. The vessel has disabled the station's security protocols and is piloting itself into the docking bay. Saves me a trip out to space to kick video pirate butt. Can't believe this jerk is broadcasting our home movies. It's overriding our automatic defense systems. I suggest we approach with caution. I got a barrel full of caution in each hand, Sarah. There it is. Whoa. She's big. An L-class freighter. I haven't seen one of those babies in a while. Let's get a closer look. This looks familiar. Like, crazy familiar. It does bear an uncanny structural resemblance to our first deep space vessel, Tom. Sarah, do you think it's possible? No. Way. I'll de-res and enter the core to confirm the identity of the vessel, Tom. I can learn more about its systems from the inside. Sarah? Everything okay in there? The Return, next Saturday at midnight. Only Toonami on Adult Swim.